Well, it's a rainy day again, but I'm getting to where I've got to take advantage of every opportunity I have. I'm going to count each school year as a season and take a break over the summer, but I'll be back next year. We got a few more before then. But anyway, since it's kind of rainy, I picked another relatively easy one. So let's head downtown. That's a beautiful little subway station. I popped out of the subway, and this is where we're going. Down here on Wall Street, this is Trinity Church. Just had to cross the street to get a little further away from it so we can actually see it. But this is Wall Street. If you look down there, you can see the New York Stock Exchange. But this way, that's Trinity Church. Since we're on Wall Street, here's a little history of Wall Street. Why is it called Wall Street? Because there used to be a wall here. This is where New Amsterdam built a wall to protect themselves against invading forces like the British. It didn't work in the end, but you know, they tried. It's hard to get far enough away from it to get it all in the shot, because it's tall. the church bells. So this is an old church. This is actually the third of the Trinity churches that has existed. The first of them was built in 1698 and it lasted until the great New York fire of 1776, which yes, had something to do with the revolution. The second one was built in 1790 and then the third one was built in 1846. And it was the tallest building in the United States until 1869. It was the tallest building in New York City until 1890. All of the towers of the Brooklyn Bridge, which aren't really a building, were taller than it when they went up. But it's important to note how tall it was because for a long time, this thing towered over the city. This was the tallest structure in the city, which is another reason why the Brooklyn Bridge was so impressive, because when that went up, it dwarfed this. We went to the Brooklyn Bridge. You can check out that episode. And attached to the church, we have the Trinity Cemetery, which has a lot of really old gravestones. And in fact, a lot of prominent first Americans are in here. Alexander Hamilton's over there. He's the one that gets the crowds these days. This is our friend Robert Fulton. There he is, Hamilton himself. Hey look, we even got to go in. All right, so that's Trinity Church. Beautiful church. Now we're gonna head 
uptown a little bit to another part of Trinity Church, which is sort of an annex chapel that they built. This is Zuccotti Park, which, as you may remember, was at one point occupied. There's the Oculus down there. We got it here when we walked to Battery Park City. Check out that episode if you haven't. came from down there. We've walked only about four or five blocks, and here we are at St. Paul's Chapel, which is part of Trinity Church. And when it was built, it was actually built as sort of like an annex in the suburban part, outside of what was considered the central part of New York. But you can almost see Trinity down there. It's so interesting how much smaller New York was then. So St. Paul's was built in 1766, and it's the oldest surviving church structure in New York. It's old. It also has a very old cemetery surrounding it. So St. Paul's is right in the shadow of the old World Trade Center site. Actually, one World Trade is right there still, but this building wasn't damaged at all on September 11th. It became known as the little church that stood. Actually, it served as a place of respite and peace for the people who were working down at the World Trade Center site during that whole disaster. That's actually one world trade right there. And we got the Oculus. been a neat little history trip. Very cool old churches. And we're right at the Fulton Street subway station. Uptown's across the street though. All right, to the subway. This is an interesting subway entrance. Well, I'm back up to the east side. That was a fun little history tour. Be sure to check out the rest of the channel up to the east side on YouTube. Catch up on old episodes, look for new episodes every Friday. Come with me as I continue to explore all the corners of New York City. And tell your friends, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.